Real questions I have been asked by the three-year-old I care for. Dia, do you have a man cave? Dia, did you get new toilet paper? Dia, are those antlers for the cheese? My answers, respectively, are fairly straightforward. No, I don't, but I sure wish I did. Yeah, I got the really soft, pillowy kind. Thanks for noticing. I have no idea if those antlers are for the cheese, but I don't see why not. I am generally confident with the answers I provide. However, once in a while, she asks me, Dia, do you have a penis today? And I'm stumped. Because the answer you see is so much more complicated than no. Because I want to say, Josie, you will learn how that no matters every single day in more ways than I can tell you. That no has everything to do with the way I take up space. That no is my mother's refusal to buy me bow ties in favor of silver necklaces. That no is the cringe in my heartbeat when people call me a lesbian. That no is the source of fear I carry as a shield when I pee in public restrooms. That no is what I use to bind this chest to prove something I can't prove with a yes to that question. That no is the answer the salesperson gives when I ask for that pair of shoes in my size, that suit in my size, that body in my size, and the mirror in my eyes, I've had a home in the lies I've told instead of no. The world asks that question every single day, and I never have the right answer. It would be so much easier if the world asked whether those antlers are for the cheese. <laughs>